What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab, and I got a comparison for you guys. All right, so what do we have here? Right now, I am doing a comparison of a few or a couple of Dayton Audio purchases I recently got. Right now, what you have is the B452 Airs. They, those are the uh, four and a half inch drivers right here with the air motion transformer or ribbon tweeter. And right here, what you have is the B652 Air. And these are six and a half inch drivers, pretty much of the same lineup. This is the big brother to this. And a couple of you guys actually wanted to see what was the difference in size. So I'm doing a size comparison for you guys. And that's pretty much what it is. It's not going to be like a, I'm not going to do a demo of this as for sound quality. If you guys want me to, I can do that later on. But for right now, this is simply going to be a size comparison. So let's jump off into this. Uh, the cabinets are what they are. Like I said, this is a six and a half inch driver and this is a four and a half inch driver. So quite naturally, these things, are, one is going to be taller than the other. But of course, um, this is very, very important for, for anyone who who is actually trying to um, or contemplating purchasing, making this purchase right here to kind of like see these things side by side so you can kind of know what it is that you're getting yourself into before you go out and spend your money. So I'm um, happy to kind of, I'm kind of happy to help you guys with that. And enough rambling, let's just jump right off into it. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the drivers and I'm going to lay them on their uh, stomachs or on their backs so you can see kind of like the contrast between the heights of the two drivers. So let me get that for you right now. So take this guy lay him down and pretty much do the same thing with this guy right here all right so i can come here and let you guys kind of like just get a get a whiff of that um yeah so let's get it from the side here and as you guys can see this thing is is about i would say two inches taller than the four inch driver, the four and a half inch, yeah, I would say a good two inches taller than it. And um, if we were to take this and put it here, as you guys can see, it's about, I would say a good two inches wider as well. So I got an inch on about either side here. So yeah, significantly bigger than the uh, four and a half inch variant, in my opinion. There's another um, view for you guys, if you can appreciate that. So, yeah, this here has, and both of these are sealed, by the way. But I do believe, to be honest with you, I believe that the six and a half actually have enough cabin space to port it in my opinion i think so and later on down the road i may actually play around with porting one of these to see what it sound like opposed to it being in a sealed enclosure i think a porter do it some justice to be honest with you but let me get everything set back up right quick I know you guys have heard me say this in the past, but for what these things cost, the performance that you get for that dollar amount is amazing. These things sound damn good, very clear, crisp. Um, a lot of that is due to the tweeters that, that comes with them. And of course, that is the selling point for these units. The drivers themselves are nothing fantastic. Just to be honest with you, they're very cheap drivers. I believe you can actually purchase this driver from Parts Express for like six bucks. That's how cheap that is. But when paired with something quality here, it, it just makes all the difference in the world. And um, I've really been thinking about, and I know I said this in a previous video, I've been really thinking about 
taking this driver right here out and putting something more premium inside. Whereas if I do that, I'm definitely going to have to uh, consider porting this thing because it's it's a pretty big it's a pretty big cabin, in my opinion, for a six and a half inch driver. To be honest with you, um, I came up where six by nines were a big thing, and they came in cabins about this size, sealed, not not uh, ported. A lot of six by nines came in cabins about this size, and six by nines, of course, is bigger than a six and a half inch circle. Uh, I think six and a half. I mean, six by nines are more indicative of eight inch drivers when it comes down to a uh, surface area. I think that the six by nine is more indicative of an eight inch driver. So this is a six and a half in a box or an enclosure that could uh, that is suited for a six by nine. So I think that is plenty of cabin space in there for me to throw like a one and a half inch port and bring the tuning down in this driver to about I want to say about 40 or 50 hertz. I believe I can do it. Um, the only reason why, the only thing that's keeping me from doing it, to be honest with you, because I already have those ports uh, in stock, but the only thing that's keeping me from doing it is because the, that that doing that would only benefit if you were doing it or using this in a, uh, a bookshelf application or a desktop application, but for me having it in home theater, that's what these these drivers are right now. In my home theater system, being sealed is perfect because I cross the units over at 100 hertz anyway. So they'll never see 60 hertz. They'll never see 40 hertz. So that's the only reason why I haven't ported them already um, because I have subwoofers to handle all that stuff. So that's the only reason why I haven't cut a hole in it and did what I wanted to do with it. But who knows, maybe one one day later on down the road, I may do that. And i actually been thinking about uh, removing these and making towers out of them. I've been thinking about doing that as well. But that ain't even what this video is about. I apologize for that. Uh, this was a size comparison video, and here I am talking about porting the box. Uh, but anyway, like I said in the beginning, uh, one of you guys asked and requested this, so I'm doing this for you. And uh, that's it for now. I'm going to cut this one short. Uh, again, this is the Dayton Audio B54 I mean B42 Air. This is the 4.5 variant. And this is the uh, Dayton Audio uh, B652 Air, the 6.5 variant of this uh, bookshelf speaker. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For all you guys who have not yet done it, please click the notification bell so you can get more videos like this whenever they are due. And yeah, till next time, it's your boy D and I'm out.